equation here, it's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So what the m represents is the slope, that's the angle of the line, and what the x1 and y1 represent, okay, these are the coordinates of the point that the line goes through. Okay, so if you know that there's a, a point on the line, you know the coordinates of that point, and you know the angle of the line, you can quickly find the equation using this point-slope form. Just a little background on where this formula comes from. We know that the slope formula equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, anything divided by 1 is itself. If we cross multiply, cross the equal sign, we get y2 minus y1 equals m times x2 minus x1. And you can see the formulas are the same. So it comes from that formula for slope. Let's look at some example problems and talk about how to write the equations of lines. So in this first example, we're given the slope is 2 and the point that the line goes through is negative 1, 4. So this one's set up pretty nice for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to do y minus the y coordinate, which is 4, okay, the slope, which is 2, x minus the x coordinate, which is negative 1. But when you subtract a negative, it's really just like adding a positive. So I'm just going to write that as plus 1, okay. Now if we wanted to graph this line, all we would have to do is say, all right, it goes through the point negative 1, 4. So negative 1, 4, okay, right there. And the slope of the line is 2. 2, of course, is like 2 over 1. So the rise is 2, the run is 1. And you can repeat that process, rise 2, run 1. And you can see there's your, there's your lines, okay? Let's take a look at another example. Say we want to find the equation of a line through these two points, 3, 1, and 6, 10. So first thing we need to do is we need to find the slope of the line by using our slope formula. So we have y2 minus y1, so 10 minus 1, over x2 minus x1, which is 6 minus 3. So that's 9 over 3, which equals 3. So the slope of our line is 3. And then what we're going to do now, this is the part that sometimes students get a little bit confused by. They say, do we use this point or do we use this point? And it doesn't actually matter which point that you use. So let's just pick this point over here, okay, since the numbers are a little bit smaller, it'd be a little bit easier to work with. So we've got y minus the y coordinate, which is 1, equals the slope, which was 3, times x minus the x coordinate, which is 3, okay? Now this is point slope form. If we want to rearrange it into the slope intercept form, what we can do is we can distribute the 3, so that's 3x minus 9. We can add the 1 to both sides, so that's going to give you 3x minus 8. And now we have the equation in the slope-intercept form. 